Two bills making their way through the state legislature could have a huge impact on government workers across Jefferson County. And some worry about the loss of key job protections. The I-Team Cynthia Gould looked at the impact. Cynthia? Muriel, two South Alabama lawmakers want to allow cities and other government entities to be able to opt out of using personnel boards for their hiring. In Jefferson County, all cities except Hoover are under this board. From fire and police to city hall staff, the Jefferson County Personnel Board oversees hiring and recruitment of government workers all across the county, and it comes with a price tag. The city of Birmingham pays the Personnel Board $3.5 million a year, Homewood $360,000. Two Mobile County lawmakers argue that system is outdated. The red tape of compiling candidates takes too long. The Personnel Board is just an antiquated system that at one time had a place, maybe in the 1940s, but today with the internet, with all of the, the rules and regulations out of Washington, I believe that cities and counties could effectively spend that money a lot more uh, in, a, in an effective and wise manner. Representative Chip Brown is sponsoring the House bill. He contends workers will not lose protections and taxpayers will save money. There are so many federal regulations and rules regarding nepotism, regarding discrimination, regarding uh, equal hiring practices, that 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 aspect of it wouldn't change. But the local police union has concerns. No one was contacted before these bills hit the floor. But you don't want to roll things back to back into the 60s. The FOP's D'Angelo Hall says employees would lose key protections, such as due process, the chance to appeal a disciplinary action to an independent board. You wouldn't want to be governed and then have to appeal the same person that governs you. He contends taking an employment issue to court can take years. And since Alabama is an at-will state, officers could be fired for any reason. He says the union is willing to talk. And you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You just have to roll with the wheel and put some new tires on it. The Jefferson County Personnel Board's director did not respond to our calls for comment, but this notice on the board's website tells workers to contact their lawmakers with feedback or concerns. So what's your next move? We're working the phones. Uh, we're getting members to reach out to all of their senators and all of their state representatives. The city of Birmingham did not respond to our request for comment. Vestavia Hills and Gardendale both say they are very pleased with the personnel board and the value it offers in training and hiring. In the newsroom, Cynthia Gould, ABC 3340 News.